hello, hello, hello. I am here. It's so quiet because I need to turn off the royalty, the copyrighted music. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna play.
that has been quite pleasing. Awesome, bro. Oh, so those two big bros are making a little bro? I get it. What? No, can you tell us about the two big bros? Wow, so that's what parents are like. I totally have some parents. Oh. Well, I'm going to rush this evening. That's okay, though. Once a year, you can turn it off and then you're going to get your parents. Good boy, they love me. What a new! Hi, you still think your parents are like a person's birthday? That's okay. It is? Yeah, everybody knows that all persons get to know that I stand up paws.
Oh, it worked. Okay.
Let's do this! Let's do this. Yes! <laughs> you have to eat like a hundred jello to get uh, one three jello or something. Okay. Let's do this! Awesome, bro.
show me that money. Yeah, but. I'm 
so bad at getting secret endings. Alright. Once again, we're gonna do the secret rift. If that doesn't work, we're gonna definitely get two holes. Alright. Showtime!
You're a failure. Fucking metal!
I need to trying to be minimalist. My god, you're right. Why even have a plate? Why have anything at all? That's it, our new menu item. Nothing. Who receives Liam's permission? From now on, the lunch item will include one empty tray. Great victory for our artistic expression. Then you realize you're feeling like going full ghost when you're blinded again. You're observing your surroundings when you spot Miranda and Damien. You want to get closer when suddenly- Greetings, my loves. Greetings, beautiful high schoolers. It is I, the interdimensional prince. I'm here to rescue you, you from your mundane existence. Just sign these marriage papers. Not this guy again. Look! Whoa! Gasp! An underworld specter. This again? What, again? Liam, this is clearly a kick-ass powerful ghost. Look at its face. So deadpan. No expression at all. It's because it's not a face. It's a sheet with two holes cut in it. Man, I wish my face had two holes cut in it. That would be fucking metal. No, listen, it's not a face. It's ghost friend. Help us. Save us from this inter interdimensional creep. Yeah, do something. Something ghostly. Boo? That's gotta be creativity. Throw a rock at the interdimension. That's boldness. Yeah. Whoa, do you see that? No goosebumps. Fucker doesn't fuck around. My apologies, beautiful high schoolers. What exactly is boo? We don't have that many ghosts in my room. A super spooky ghost thing. You should run for your life. Yeah, interdimensional loser. It's a super legit ghost thing. This ghost is probably about to unleash its ghostly rage upon you. You ready for a hundred years of misery? She said boo. Can you stop all this stupidity? Beautiful Liam has a point. The fierce Damien and wonderful Miranda show so much energy in their affirmations that I cannot help but believe them. Vocal energy is my main criteria when following my various advisors' advice. And today, I shall retreat from my dimension. But fear not, my beloved high schoolers, the interdimensional prince will be back for you. So he disappears into another annoying portal. So mad, old ghost person, you made him retreat with a single boo. So brave. He retreated because of what you two idiots told him, and he said so in front of you just a minute ago. Liam, really, sometimes I wish your face was a sheet with two holes cut in it, so that you, that way you wouldn't, couldn't say annoying stuff 24-7. Whatever. <laughs> Little ghost friend save the day again, huzzah! They leave, running and screaming about how cool you are. What the fuck is up with your classmates, really? Anyway, it should be in two boldness in one charm. Let's do this! Let's do this. Damien is totally tuned out in monstrous civics class, but today he's actually seen, he actually seems excited. You ask me why. <laughs> because I finally got an assignment I can get behind. Write a proposal to improve your neighborhood. My neighborhood is hell, so I'm gonna come up with a kick-ass new torture. I just need to pick an idea. Drink whole termites? No, the termite lobby will be all over us. Constantly firing shotgun? No, the NRA still refuses to associate with our brand. Repeated fl fl playing with a dull, rusty butternick? No, it's just not quite brutal enough. Literally, damn. I've got plenty of good ideas, but no great one. Help me out here, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
knife suit, or a kitten you can never snuggle. I don't know what, what, what? knife soup, cool. Knife soup you means soup, but with knives instead of soup? How did you know that my favorite thing is replacing things that are not knives with knives? Oh man, those poor idiots are gonna eat that soup because it's soup, and then bam, knives in your mouth. And when they get used to that, I'll give them a bowl of real soup with a knife instead of a spoon. Haha, <laughs> they need to make the knife soup into a real thing. Ashley is a very popular food among people who hate themselves. She made free money as well as these. It's made of one seamless piece of obsidian, so it's low calorie. And second of all, it's a lich's phylactery. Part of this balanced breakfast. It's lunch. You're just jealous. No, I'm nervous. Nervous that you're going to eat that, get possessed by a lich, and kill us all. Well, I'm nervous that that's not going to happen. Looks like these two are in an impasse. Maybe you can solve the dispute and score some romantic credit at the same time. Okay, the angel eat it. You have no food. Baby, so what about you? And that's right, Damien. You should make it. You it now. If you seals, give them to me. I can already taste the cruelty. Tori, you scoundrel. How could you substitute want, wanton irresponsibility, irresponsibility for animal cruelty? If I like when the baby seals, you're feeding to me and aren't actually baby seals. Hey, these are seal shaped beanie babies stuffed with tofu and pig's blood. Good thing you always keep a sack of baby seal decoys in case of killer whale attack. I pull out your craftiness and your high regard for animal life. Let's go. Oh, we're trying this phylactery to Larry the Lich is quick together. Ends up being the third most romantic night you've ever spent in a perfect score. Okay. Let's do this! Yeah, let's do this. Can I not afterwards turn past Liam with your sweet home and grand filters? You're really making some headlines. Never fear, boy team. I'm here to rescue you, uh, rescue you from the drudgery of my school. Yeah, I suppose your heart's in the right place, but I'm afraid there's no experience not full enough to conquer my limitless ennui. Not even marrying an interdimensional prince? Mm. Not even that. But what about marrying an inter interdimensional prince, ironically? Yeah. My god, it's so disruptive. It may be the worst disruptive thing ever. No, it seems the prince has bewitched Liam with his idiotic proposal. All is lost unless you can think of something even more disruptive to marry. Can you come with a toilet on it? The concept of marriage itself. Damn it! Um, no. Recursion was so last year. In fact, it's so last year that it was so last year last year. And last last year, it was so last year. Don't get me started about last last year. Great guard locks. He's stuck in a loop. You've broken him. And last last Okay. I can't marry a broken man. It would be catastrophic for my image. Interventional friends away! Well, you got rid of that pesky prince, but you doubt if William will ever forget you for trapping him in this iron loop. You lose two smart... No, two charming ones. Ooh, okay. Let's do this. Uh. Oh. Okay, you're the first one in class. You sometimes come early because you're trying to talk to them. End of class. Teacher passes back to quizzes from last week. Any more questions besides? Just another fat. Fashista's assessment and a long line of Fashista's assessment. Don't get me wrong, my performance on these little charades is exceptional. I'm devastatingly intelligent, but I find the entire enterprise distasteful. Must we eat it? Be weighed and measured like so much raw steak. I really just want monster snorts derisively. Alright, butt sucker. You're so smart. How are they supposed to assess us without test? Well, I mean, given time, I'm sure I could come up with, obviously. This is not going well for her, Liam. You jump in and save the day. Rat battles? That's creativity. Brutal fight to the death? Okay. So creative. Yes, that's precisely what I was about to say. As we all know, one does not truly grasp a subject until one can rap fluently about it. None would dispute that Snoop Dogg is a reigning expert on the distribution and consumption of marijuana, for example. Yes, yes, very good. I'll start a petition immediately. This will definitely impress Reddit. Give Liam his first signature. You're not sure he'll get many more. In any case, you're getting too fun in one of creativity. Okay. Let's do this! I need 
need to go to this table. So that I can try and get um smart sport for you. If you're enjoying your meal in peace, can you hear the unusual sound of three different play? Oh, oh, yes. As you know, it's customary for a benevolent witch coven to have as an ally a malevolent creature of some sort. Since Liam has apparently decided he's too cool for us now, I mean, you have a your incredible resume and your books, we decided to accept you on a trial basis as our supernatural companion for one adventure. Adventure, not to exceed three episodes or eclipse the main plot arc. As a consideration for your willing participation, we'll even allow you your choice of adventure. Three episodes, you can knock out oh, one of these adventures by the end of lunch and actually sounds fun. How do you choose two options? Stop the crime ghost who's been taking over children's bodies and even in wrong things. You have a never before seen plan. Take on the greatest income inequality. Okay. Turns out income inequality is the name of a giant goblin made of money that can terrorize the city. You attack it in the only way you know how. Stealing. Breaking. All that money you stole with load bearing. The goblin is going flat. Yet that was truly good. You definitely weren't just stealing the money because you wanted money. Excellent. The day is saved once again. Thanks to the coven and our faithful side of the Turns out the best way to defeat income inequality is by robbing it from the rich and giving it to yourself. You gain poor money. All right. Let's do this. Yes. Yeah, I have to go to other places because I need to. S There's got to be a third ghost thing. Did you see him feeling to himself? Liam? Hmm. It appears that my application to write for Virtue Magazine was received so and accepted. Right. I knew my pitch would hook them. Imagine, the edgiest, most apparent article subject to me. Now double it. That's my article subject. You see, I used a writing technique on them called Line. It's very effective. Up it until they call your bluff. Now I've got to actually write an article. I've got no idea what to write. You, save me from the consequences of my actions. Suggest an idea to let this up to my own head. I'm sure I'm for the legalization of recreational chimera toxins. Chilling expose to the cost industries driven from trafficking. Tra tra this This has gotta be boldness. Fuck, it was sharp. Uh it's all kind of powder at the gas station and some chewing and baby fingers. The only way it chip can could be more mainstream as they get toward their bacterial interests, which they're talking about doing. Big pharma truly is insidious. And he stalks off to ask literally anyone else for help. And it sounds like he's been. This is not going great. Let's do this! Let's do this. After you finish doing your business, you hear a commotion next all. It would be polite to just an ignore move on. Unfortunately, a cave troll taught you manners, so you kicked the door open. Raina and Liam are huddled around some bathroom graffiti, and they feel confused. Maybe it's the password to a highly exclusive event? But what if people aren't smart enough to figure it out? And why make it a secret? Well, obviously, they don't want outsiders to get in. The father is a beard. That's how it starts. What starts? A revolution. They're having a coup. No, no, it's probably like a party or something. Parties? That's exactly what revolutions are about. I'm too young to have a revolution. Not sure why this random piece of bathroom squall is so important, but this is a great opportunity to impress the book. Probably tell them. An obvious and exclusive download code for the hottest multimedia dating sim human call. Colleague number? That's boldness. Damn it! Why am I so bad right now? Okay, Polly would have a number on a wall in the bathroom stall. That's a base ass assertion. Just because she dresses in it and does a lot of drugs and is always going to be wasted in unusual locations such as airplanes, graveyards, and yes, the occasional bathroom. You still can't make judgments about people just because of what they wear and say and do. Yes, she's my friend, you know. The folks writing my lines might be assholes, but they would never do that to Pally. Okay, how dare you? There's two fun and one charm. Yes. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. That was the bathroom. 
But I haven't done the library or the outdoors. Let's turn the doors. You can start getting something productive. Or you can put on your blanket and get up to some good old ghost shenanigans. Don't go with someone, but you run into a person that might finally see through your ghostly deception. Apart from boredom. Hiya! Hiya! Wait, what's this? Another ghost? No, I can't believe this. Finally, someone else notices. This is clearly just Tori wearing that. I can't believe it because it's just cool, too cool to be true. Come on, it's not cool nor true. Shh, Liam, I can't hear our cool new ghost friend over all your jealousy. You tell me, how did you die? Hey, we have to share so much ghost gossip or ghost tip. Ghost tip? As I like to call it? Hmm, good question. Time to improve a lie with another bigger lie. I was offered a sacrifice to the god of party? That's boldness. I only tell oh, how I died on the third date. That's charm, which I don't have. Oh, that was fun. All right, good enough. Whoa, that's just stupid. You mean stupidly awesome? No, just plain stupid. Also, which god of party? Thanasis? Nukasi? Deer person? Who cares, you party pooper? Just saying, your story has more holes than the actual holes cut out of the blanket she's clearly wearing. Shut up, Liam. Maybe we should sacrifice you to the god of party. You don't like such bad vibes, and because of that, you start dancing. Polly joins you. Ghost dance! I swear, I'm gonna follow you around until you take off that sheet. Not a chance, but for now, ghost dance. Also, you get two creativity and one fun. Okay. Will he go to prom with me? Okay. Let's do this! Are you kidding me? You made my life miserable on a daily basis with this ghost thing. What do I look like to you? An ass kid? No way. Go haunt someone else. Huh. Prom night sucks. Why did you decide to ask anyone a problem while wearing a blanket? You pretended to be a ghost, yet you're the one haunted by the ghost of your failures. Boo. That wasn't a secret ending? How was that not a secret ending? Boo! Okay. Anyways, I guess Liam doesn't work for the ghost book. Literally, my notes say anyone, and I guess he's the only one I can't. Shop has changed, if only very subtle way. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna do the penguin mask if we don't get a thing for the uh, mystery game. None of them were fun, so it's good. And a genie in a bottle, you can ask for whatever you want. Whatever you want. Don't ask for anything, I drink the genie from a bottle. I want a grain man. Which is the rainbow you can eat. Infinite. Betty, we're asking for it that you try and negotiate their standard issue. Yeah. Is it infinite? Can you tell Cool, I did it. Do this. After just say Polly and Damien eating some delicious cookies. Hey, would you like to buy a cookie to benefit the agents of chaos? I'm trying to get my destructive capitalism badge. <laughs> all, pro all, uh, all proceeds go directly to the uprising of chaos over order, and it's tax deductible. As I was setting fire to a nursing home the other day, I heard a voice echo so loudly in my head that my teeth rattled. It told me of an ancient order, and as it was described to me in a thousand voices, blood trickled from my ears. Fucking metal. And then the voices gave me a badge for harassment of elders. And I earned my first badge for being unable and unwilling to stop partying. The goal is to get enough badges to make a bikini out of, and then wear it and nothing else everywhere forever. My goal is to get enough badges to probably make some bikini out of them and wear it and nothing else 
everywhere for It's poly time! Uh, I wonder what badge we should go for next, and what hydrants we should get into to earn it. If it's good with being single and partying forever, showing this institution of marriage, that's always better with some things that will add and replace all the water in this world's room. Yeah! Oh, yeah. I always say that marriage is like such an outdated institution. I think how panicked old people will be if we dismantle it. Yeah, they'll act as if it like matters or something. I'll head to City Hall and torch all the marriage certificates. And I'm gonna go to all the bridal salons and pour pig's blood on all the dresses. Red. Perfect. Man, we're gonna get that disrupting societal norm badge as easy as pie. Badge, we can't hear I come. Why do even the simplest plans seem to escalate into arson and blood so so quickly? Whatever, you gain two fun and one bullet. Let's do this. Give me your money. This is new. Alright. Mm, penguin bitch. Oh, the penguin mask appears after this. Later, Gator. Oh. I have zero fun, but I have 22 charm. Holy shit. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's. Ooh, boldness and fun. Okay, let's get the fun back. Because it's zero right now. Oh, oh what you got, Mir? Mm -hmm. What you got? Well, I have this game, Misunderstanding Mobs. I'm not really sure how to play, but I keep winning, so that's nice. Also got Scepter, which is like Uber, but for surfs instead of cars. Oh, and Spooner, which is like a dating app, but for silverware. You know, I like my apps elegant and majestic. It's pretty cool, but do you have rap chat? It turns all your messages into raps, but you can only see them for eight seconds. Wow, what about you, Tori? What fun apps do you have? Yeah, impress us with something rad. I was here earlier, it's nothing just goes to you. Not much, just this one that turns my phone into a rad car. <laughs> so charming. Oh my, my head is swimming with the myriad of uses of such an app. A royal zoo has been tigerless ever since the tigers drowned in their underwater cages, which was immediately. We've been looking for a way to replenish their supply ever since. Mm. And you know what I say, it's not a real party until there are tigers literally everywhere. Not so. How many real parties have you been to then, Polly? None. Yet. Miranda purchases the app and a bunch of raw meat while ordering new cages for her family zoo. Polly asks her if she can borrow a tiger or two for her next party. What could go wrong? You gain two fun and one charm. Let's do this. Let's up my bowl. This is what Show me that money. I didn't mean to do that. I'm too poor for it. Oh. Okay. Okay. No refunds. We're gonna do this just so that. Let's do this. Grab your chosen table to find Damien, dejectedly hefting a ball of mashed potatoes while Polly sadly passes her hand through the same. Seriously, what do we have to do to get a food fight start in this cafeteria? I honestly do not know. I tried throwing potatoes at everyone and yelling food fight, but I think everyone is too scared to fight me back. I can't throw any food because of my stupid ghost hands, plates, mirrors, antique furniture, sure, but not food. There's gotta be a way to provoke a food war. My dads are always telling me to be more political. We're not political. Your strength is hitting things, and my strength is being unbelievably hot at the same time. <laughs> unbelievably hot? That's it. We'll set the cafeteria on fire. Wait, no, that's not a solution. That's just arson. Why don't I always jump straight to arson? It's not hard to watch them struggle throughout the, through this by themselves. It's hard to watch them struggle through this, so you step in when they're eating them. I'm just scared so to steal the waste and put it in a pile. Great spot. A hole. Need to get you kidnapped by Trojans. I like where your head is, but I'm not super into being kidnapped and shit. What if we skip some steps with some good old flashing? Polly floats up in the tables and in a practice motion flips off the top. 
To the victor! This is a high school cafeteria. Polly's rash action looks at the rolling cauldron of hormones, sets it on fire, and tap dances on the ruins. Soon the air is thick with sausage and gravy. Potato crisps fly everywhere like flavored shrapnel. Polly puts her shirt back on now that everyone's too busy fighting to remember what they're fighting about. Looks like they're familiar with the tits that launched a thousand ships. The view you just got makes that pun worth it. Let's do this! Okay, we need money. Talking around on your cell phone when you see a couple of your classmates talking around on their cell phones too, but louder and with more aggravation. Well, Nina, this institution of learning, and I'm finding it increasingly difficult to concentrate with you making tigers appear everywhere constantly. We'll soon have ruin the school. Uh -huh. It's gotta be party. So I've randomly triggered something, so we're just gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. Must be party. I don't know. I find it simply aberrant the amount of money you are funneling into Tiger when an app advertises itself as free but then gets you addicted and causes you to end up paying more and more money. Now you can have 99 monies at a time. That's just. Awesome? Exploitative of the weak world. I love exploiting the weak build, but I prefer when you do it with me. What's so special about Tiger anyway that you're blowing all your money on it rather than investing in our schemes? Um, what are we gonna get? The premium features are dope. You can design the stripes on your Tiger, pick custom colors, pick whisker size and strength. You can find out whether or not a Tiger has super liked your profile, what picture it's favored in. Don't get me wrong, it's not that I necessarily want to date a literal actual Tiger. I just want to know if the literal actual Tigers want to date me as they should. You must realize how I'm saying this sounds. I mean, hearing it out loud, it did sound pretty wack, I guess. Plus, if the tigers get hungry and start eating people, honestly, it's shocking they haven't done that already. We won't have anyone to rip off. Right, because the tigers won't be ripping off their arms and legs. Good point. I'll just delete that video of the tigers. There, deleted. And yet, there, tigers. Here, tigers. Everywhere, tigers. Huh? I wonder why they didn't work. Maybe because getting rid of downloadable content on a phone in no way destroys the living flesh and blood bands in the real world? But you know what might actually work? Every tiger in the school released the ant eaters, the natural enemy of tigers that everyone knows. That's mm -hmm. coach shot them. He's a tiger, right? Or like a tiger adjacent? Something? That charm? Yes, that's charming. Excellent idea. Although there are many areas in which I would not trust the opinion of a mere athlete. Communication with their own is one to which even I must happily defer. Yeah, what he said. Coach! You rang, my wonderful, eager-eyed edu educators? Um, yeah, someone, we have no idea who, just someone made a whole fuck ton language, Paulina. Sorry, coach, she means there is an abundance of tigers roaming around the school. Tigers here? Why, how did you know that I was looking to recruit for my new all-tiger synchronized skating team? We didn't. Except you, except you, expect you to be so grateful. All we really wanted was the satisfaction of a job well done, and also 10% revenue off all Mobilia merchandising once the season kicks off. That sounds more than fair. Let's go get these tigers. All of the joys of synchronized skate. Let's go tell them. Okay. Follow the coach around the school as he approaches each and every tiger to recruit them one by one. Some people say that forming a synchronized skating team with the literal actual tigers is more work than it's worth, but you're automatically doubling the amount of limbs that need to be in sync. But I see these people are weak and have never tried teaching tigers how to synchronize skate. Neither have I, but I think I'm up more up for the challenge. Plus, think of all the joys that come with ice skating, bunions, freezing toes, split toenails, hip and knee problems. All of these can be yours for free. Well, not for free, because you have to buy equipment and pay to spend time on the ice and all that. But you could win trophies. Whoa, did all the tigers sign up? I have no idea if the tigers could sort of deeply for trophies. Does it mean us? then you must not pay much attention to Coach. Obviously. But then Tori does, or at least enough to know that Coach is a tiger. Yeah, well, come to the event, that's not really that much, but it got the job done, and everyone is happy. We're in two fun and one boldness. Let's do this! Yeah. Yeah, let's get the, the boldness, let's get fun. Lacey, 
Kelly Bonnet. I could have brought some all of her stuff on her shopper. Oh, okay. I just got my 97th Hey as an opening line on her new dating app, Tina. I just had to puke out of pure boredom. Hey, hey, what am I supposed to do with hey? Whatever happened, you're reaching out to someone with fierce dick pic. People are just copy pasting hey and sending it to every monster that looks halfway interesting. What about you? Are you a hey person to too? I hope not. You read the horny dating app TM profile of a fun looking woman with spectral delight session itself. What would you say to me? That's creativity. Are you drugs? Because I'm gonna do you all night long? Yeah. Oh yeah, drugs. That's a great opening line. Also, let's do drugs. Wake up a little while later feeling the show. No idea where you are. It would appear that you are somehow the president of a small country in the midst of a financial crisis. Mostly because you diverted 100% of your finances to procuring more drugs. Luckily, this particular country only rises from the mist once every 100 years. Do you able to make that hasty episode with almost no consequences? However, it probably catches up to you. It's cool. She's less than impressed. Wow. So when you said you wanted to do me all night like drugs, what you meant was, be totally unable to handle me, push your pants and black out? Don't even think about hitting me up on horny dating app TM with a big line like that. It's worse than hey. Oh, it's her. Tori can't handle her drugs. Stupid me for giving you the benefit of them. Man, now Polly thinks you're totally lame and wouldn't be able to handle doing her. Why don't you have a higher drug talk? Send it into whatever you're telling you doing drugs is fun. Minus one fullness and two fun. This is going great. Let's do this! It isn't going great at all. I don't know how to pivot this. I don't know how to pivot at all. This is impossible! For some reason, no one ever intentionally sits next to me. I usually have to ambush them and threaten to kill them. I wonder why. It's a mystery. Anyways, I'm really happy you. I mean, I'm flattered that. I mean, I actually. Huh. I wouldn't give a shit about you under normal circumstances, but today I'm on a quest. Yeah, that's right. Not emotionally vulnerable. I'm just on a quest to slay the werewolf of Wall Street. And I need a monster sidekick. You're going to help me, obviously. I just need to know what your class is. Are you a fighter, a mage, a cleric? Out with it. Or you're something much better. You're a. Party Smith? Gun have it? Party Smith. Party Smith. If I'm able to craft a wicked party from nothing, gonna help me slay the werewolf of Wall Street. Oh well. I've already committed to bringing you up. I suppose you can be my scrappy comic book. Clearly, this letter is uninitiated in the mysteries of the party set. Set up to prove her wrong. Organizing a party so bally that only a fool would miss it, you managed to lure the werewolf of Wall Street out in the open. What he doesn't know is that the guest list for your party included basically just a fuck, a fuck ton of knives and wolf bane. Wolf dies how he lives. Hired balls on cooking. Alright, well, that was probably a fluke, but I'll hit you up if we, have a sequ if we do a sequel or a spin off. Now, let me know if you want to sit with me at lunch again. Probably won't, but no, who knows? The world is crazy for us. Your top notch party spending made four fun. Let's do this! Later, you say the Polly is even more excited than usual when you say to it. No, I've been doing a lot of soul searching recently, get it? And I think I finally figured it out. Well, I really am, I mean, my soul emoji, the emoji that speaks the truth of my soul. I think a lot of people would say I'm like the weeping ghost emoji, or the I am emoji. Is that what that word is? But those are just who I am on the outside, you know? The real soul emoji is a pink heart with a blue arrow through it. It's like, I'm sweet, right? But I also got a dark side, plus an arrow through the heart is how I was killed. What about you? What's your soul emoji? Wait, is this Charlie? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's so sweet. Your heart is like a little gift for me to open. Would that, would that kill you? Like, if I actually opened your heart? It's so hard to keep track of what kills people. That was clever and charming. Share the whole package. Name two charm and one spark.
worth anything, so. Hey, boo! Inventory, darling, it's me. Lovely fan favorite Polly. You know, I'm not always a ghost. Yeah, yeah, this uh, is about to get real. Hear me out. I used to be alive, but then but I died and I finished business. Now I gotta live for forever like this until I finish it. I might ask, what's your unfinished business? business? Your unfinished business, fan favorite, lovely Polly? Yes, I can tell you. I... I never did a reverse Romanian Wilkinson. We've done it. Wilkinson randomly triggers. You know, sexually. Hi. Don't get me wrong. I love being immortal and walking through walls and shit. But my soul will never truly rest until we do that freaking sex. Oh well. I've done that one most times. Just a man. Not a place. That charm is a place. Throw a smoke bomb or see if I'll live in a replica of yourself. That was probably your time to figure out. Charming. Yes, finally, someone as well versed in freaky sex as I am. At last, I can be free of my eternal oh, ghostly prison or whatever. Mostly freaky sex. All right, it's on prom night, okay? You bring this place, I'll bring all my sex for tea. And hey, purge the zucchini, Admiral. You know what I'm talking about. See you soon. Surely face up. Oh boy, you might have just gotten yourself to use the wild as matter really. What the fuck is reverse community Wilkinson? And what are the spies? For now, at least getting three fun. I don't know. Later, Gator. Okay, fun is up, so we just need boldness up. Let's do this. Oh, she's in the bathroom. That's whatever. Um. Yeah. We'll up creativity. Paula looking unusually fresh. She's usually on hella good drugs at this time of day. Yes, mm -hmm. we're gonna live forever. I was yelling that at a party last night because they were playing that cheesy fame song. You know the one, uh, how was it called? Oh yes, I'm gonna live forever. Yeah. But then I realized it's like literally actually true. And forever is like a really, really long time, you know? What if I run out of stuff to do? What if aliens take over and they ban partying? What if the earth blows up and I have to live in space with dumb boring space animals? <sighs> I get bored with the bus takes an extra 10 minutes to arrive. How am I ever going to stay hyped for eternity? You don't have to. Whenever you get tired of a Jason, go piss off a priest. Meh. Yeah! Damn, what a dope way to go out! They'll be all like, she died the way she lived. Is an abomination in the eyes of the Lord. Man, I've got so many cool ideas for how to piss off a priest. If all of their crackers and LSD, pour jizz in the holy water, <laughs> write a translation of the Bible, but way plumier. Oh man, I'm gonna stay entertained for years just thinking up new ways to make all cool you dude mad. Thanks! It's a good day to be you, and a bad day to be a priest. You mean two boldness and one creativity. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's do this! So I currently have all of the skills I need for her. So we're just gonna go to all of these places and make sure that we don't need to trigger an event. Holly seems really excited about trying to reverse Romania Wilkinson with you. The only thing you have to do is get all the needed supplies, which would be fine, except you have no idea what any of them are. Luckily, you've got a few spare minutes to try and figure this out. Do a quick search on your phone because you assume the internet must know something about this as long as it's related to very weird sex bad pictures. Hmm, nothing. I'll try another keyword. Just spot the coven looking over at your phone. Always the same what? with you. Could it possibly be they know something about the reverse Romanian Wilkinson? No. They're always this is a bitch and so much about saving the world. They would never admit they're into these kind of weird sex fetishes. Maybe you're not searching hard enough on the net. Maybe you're letting your prejudice blind you. There's not much more time to lose here. The solution is clear. Search a very short sighted way. You can use one of the outside to search them. That sounds like smart. Who's your people? Yes, I have so much charm. So charm. You use your refined persuasion skills with the coming, which include techniques such as repeating tell your reverse Romanian Wilkinson is to the point of exhaustion. Okay, okay, we might know what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is. 
but we know because of saving the world. So you'll need a penguin mask, a bag of marbles, and a teeny little guacamole. For sure Valerie was selling a penguin mask the other day. Don't think we have a teeny little guac for you. What kind of perks do you think we have? We totally have a bag of marbles though. We'll keep the marbles, we'll never mention this again. Okay. Why does it turn out to be exactly that old toy commercial? Fuck! Perfect for booby traps. Used at first, you feel like that's not okay, but then you're about to get in some really. Okay. I just spent money that I needed. This penguin mask costs 10. Fuck. I'm gonna take a break from socializing. Player's time. I'm to die. Eat, 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 and freak. Now I'm gonna punch your other out. You just threw your apple at her. Finally, used for that red delicious. You defeated this slayer. She flees, leaving two choices. Two choice piece of loot behind. Loot flashes rapidly, getting ready to disappear. Unless they're here in some kind of baby. No time to find the killer in nature of his fixing loot towards gun. I like rice, holy water, one monster sweetness, and a gun. Okay, I don't know. I dropped a major jet. Look a batch of garlic, rice with holy oil. Super excited to eat something inside. A chef herself tries to stop you, but you can answer some other rice instead. The holy water kills her instantly. Let's go. You get to be the chef, you put drugs on rice food, and don't really remember the next few days. Just cook. Okay. Fuck. I needed that to give me money. Let's do this. I need with Polly afterwards watching some porn like you do in the library. And suddenly you notice Marina standing right behind you. Who knows how long she's been. Greetings, fellow Hello, good friends. What are you doing? Uh um, nothing? Nothing at all. It does not seem to be nothing. That man seems to be kindly sharing his marmalade with a giant skunk. But well it's simple, you know, it's really just kind of felt Poking show, yes, poking. That's crazy. You see Miranda, when a man in okay. Sorry. Forty minutes and one elaborate explanation later. So that's where babies come from. My word, I had no idea it involved so many condiments. Yeah, well that's the miracle of life for you. All about those condiments. It seems I still have much to learn about the reproductive system. Perhaps the two of you could be my tutors? I literally can't think of any reason that would be a bad idea. Neither can you. From now on, Miranda's gonna pay you and Potley to watch porn with her. You gain two money and one smarts. Okay. I only need three more money. Let's do this. One more money. You notice Polly's staring at an open text document deep in thought. You tap her on the shoulder and ask her why she's staring at a list of hard drugs. Polly! This is my resume. I don't think it's finished yet. The school was guidance counselor said that probably won't get me a summer job at pharmaceutical company, at least not without some prior work experience. And apparently doing a lot of drugs doesn't count as work experience. That's okay though, I gotta do it like the pros do and lie about my past. If only I could think of a good lie. Help me out here. What should I say on my resume and make sure they hire me? Password school. I'm the CEO of your company, hire me. Just go to super hot selfie. Well, the guidance counselor did say to focus on my shame. I mean, the selfie game is so strong that you got kicked out of the Olympic fun station of steroid use. Polly's got several unbelievably hot selfies. These selfies are so hot, part of the library catches on fire, and the fire department has to come, and all the firefighters give Polly their phone number. Alright, now I'll just attach those to email and send. Polly sends the photos not a moment too soon. Any longer, the computer will not to from all the hotness. Two days later, you find that Polly didn't get the job in the drug lab because the CEO hired her as a selfie consultant. Also, I have the company's corporate headquarters currently burning down. You gain two gold and some one charm. Let's do this. I think this, but I need 10 for the fucking penguin mask, I think. Where's that? <sighs> I'm so mad. I did everything right. Let's do this. And I was also right here. Polly afterwards. She's about to show you her latest dumb plan. Greetings, my love. Never fear, my lady. I'll save you from this... This... Sh this... Cretin. Uh, it's the international prince, and he's apparently here to block your metaphor. <sighs> oh, you're so sparkly. Are those tearaway pants? Sadly, they are not my queen. My fashion sense does not operate in the same eth ethereal plan as your own. Well, I'm persistently on fleek. I died on fleek, and so I'm cursed to roam the earth forever eternally on fleek. Exact on fleekness, which I see. For you see, madam, I am in need of a fashionista such as yourself to play the ultimate wedding. Ours. Oh. Ours. This could be bad. You know Polly's not above getting married as a one-off joke. 
We gotta stop this madness. Power party's so dope, probably doesn't want to come back. You gotta punch yourself. Let's do the sex later in the series from your school's highly controversial physics lab and get the party started! Great Zorb and the Galaxia. I did not know you had such sick parties in this dimension. It's poly time. Yeah, boy, this school is nationally ranked in the field of particle physics. I don't know what kind of snooty soirees you got over there in the snooze dimension. But here at Spooky High School, we have sex with coherent light. I am truly humbled by the hardiness of your party. I shall return to my dimension and lament on the fact that it is a total party based thing. No even notice the prince leaving because you're too busy to see humping the lid. We have two boldness and one fun. Chance of the world, darling. Poor life choice is how I died. So now I can tell a poor afterlife choice when I see one. <laughs> oh, you're uh, a big one. No way, boo. How did you know the right thing? Why is she so mad at me? I'm fix it on you. You never become a functional adult. Now you're an old person that sits at parks and talks to strangers all the time. You almost go to eat. You won't stop. It's weird and sad as it sounds. Okay. I think we're probably gonna do one more run. Yeah, we're just gonna skip all these things. Okay. We are gonna do one more run, but I'm gonna be right back.
Is what we need. Money and money and Polly is what we're gonna go for. I do enjoy that we've got the one that's supposed to take 60 minutes down to 30 minutes. Let's start a fire! Sure. Oxide to fill them all. Mm -hmm. What's nitrous oxide? Is that something land dwellers <laughs> breathe? Well, it's pretty much all I breathe if that's what you're asking. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. What about cake? What kind of cake would you like? Ugh. Lame. I don't think I, I think you're mispronouncing cocaine. No, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced cake. I like mine with pink frosting. Yeah. And I like mine injected in my eyeballs. Speaking of eyeballs, I don't think you're really seeing eye to eye right now. Too true. Perhaps our friend Tori can suggest a mutually agreeable use for my vast riches. I have a pinata, you don't want anyone to get hurt though. She really only so told me a nice soft bag of cocaine. Like claws, right? For this website, the less you hire clowns, Spotify is doctored in the spot. Definitely not a sugar.com, it's only for some people. Okay, so this is creative. This is these men are really marvelous. Their muscles so shiny, you think I'll... Whoa, now, hold up. That one a police hey. officer? No, please. Not at my party. It's not a party you can can't do crime. Later. Party. Come on, Miranda, let's ditch this thing. <laughs> don't I don't understand me. what she's talking about, but you are clearly not to be trusted, my friend. Goodbye. Can you send me a link to that website, then? I tried to send her a link to the website, but the school fire wall prevents you by actually setting you on fire. You was too cold and stuff. Let's do this! Hey, stranger. No refunds. Alright. The same gift as last time? Bone. I do not know what this bone means, but I'm not optimistic about our chances in the upcoming game. It's not fair. I shouldn't have to fail the test just because I spent all week in a really brutal mosh pit instead of going class. And I did study. I had my servants read the entire text with flights. For some reason, my servants are not allowed to take the test for me? Well, there's only one thing left to do. Shop up the teacher and his body and ask No, there's gotta be another way. Does not there? Is it just to lobby the government until they remove the class from the entire school system? That's smart. You, need to mur you don't need to murder your teacher or something. Just burn down the internet. That's full cool. How majestic. That was charming. Oh yes, of course. My father has many excellent lobbyists in the cryo freeze for such, such occasions. How do they have cryo freeze? Mm. Because if allowed to leave blood freely, they would pose an untold threat to the survival of the species, I think. It was Daddy's decision in the case, and Daddy knows best. The lobbyists do their job so effectively that the government not only cancels the class, but erases all memory from everyone's brains. 
got no idea what you just unlearned, but you did gain two fun and more moments. Let's do this! Yep, let's do this. What's that? Okay. The power shot of Zada. This board, roll it over the dragon's realms. Okay, and this one says I go alone. Right? Yeah, I go alone for this one. So let's do it. No refunds. Stop, you can't eat that. You're not warmed up yet. You want to strain your jaw? Sprain your esophagus? Pull your intestines? Mm. Thought I taught you kids better than this. Come on, stand up. Let's get our food on. You look disappointed. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll let you choose the workout. We've got two options. Playing with fruits, simply playing football with food. Absolute ridiculous number of push-ups. Coach helps you set up your peas and mashed potatoes in a classic football condition, and you animate them with forbidden Good magic. Good job! Perfect. Now the food will get all warmed up, so it's ready to take the nutrition all the way to your end zone. The end zone is your stomach, and eventually your butt. The food throws down in the most intense football game ever. It all comes down to a controversial call by the broccoli ref. You turned around to find the whole rest of the cafeteria watching your game and betting on the results. They're even more entertained when you command all the players to dive into your mouth. You gain four fun. Let's do this. Alright. Uh, yeah. Later, you're strutting your stuff with your new totem when it attracts some unwanted some wanted attention. <laughs> eee, what a cute little dark deity totem you're rocking. Oh, it's so tiny and sweet compared to the dark gods of the ocean, you poor helpless little totem. Blood gushes forth from the totem's eyes, streaking its face with a sinister red. Oh no! It's hungry! Poor little guy! Is that it? Cutie patootie? Are you hungry, hungry? The throat's mouth stretches open farther than it physically should be able to, and it's full of locust births for it. We need to find it a yummy for his total sacrifice. No princesses, though. I'm sure that's not what it wants anyway. The throat burns fiery hot and icy cold at the same time. Aw, you better find a great sacrifice for the widow deity. It'll make the gals so happy, too. So the giant sacrifice for so that's either pull this one. Be self sacrificing, sacrifice yourself. Charming. Oh my gosh, you're going to sacrifice yourself, my hero. Yeah, not gonna lie, that's kind of hot. The film glows fiery red in eager anticipation of your love sacrifice. Luckily, you have power of starfish in your backpack after a sketchy drug deal with a selfie. You take a swig of it, then casually chop off your own limbs. Heck yeah, hardcore. Kind of grows impossibly large. Or to your severed limbs grow impossibly small. Hard to tell. The perspective seems fuzzy, but that could be the blood loss. Regardless, the totem swallows your limbs whole, one by one. Gentle earthquakes ripple across the school, and you know in your heart that the totem is pleased. That was so, so sweet of you. Who knew such nobility could lie in the heart of cousins? Crush it. Thanks to the powder of starfish, your limbs grow back in no time. You gain all new limbs, and you gain two boldness in one turn. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Um, yeah. See Miranda frantically running around your bathroom. You come up to ask a question. <laughs> come here. You're always trying to help us and impress us in the most absurd ways. I need your help. Have you seen my test surf? Not the experimental surf I've been testing lately. The one that does tests for me. You know, real smart but no free will brainwash, I think. Father gave him to me on my 10th birthday. He said you helped me be a better student. I hardly doubt that. You keep your thoughts to yourself. Now he is missing. Help me. Test is almost upon us. Thank you the radio room. No. Word that can be a initial trigger for a brainwash sir. He must have put one in his head. That's how his mind operates. Right? Convince the wolf pack to use their super- yeah. Convince the wolf pack and use your acute persuasion skills to mix them. Whoa, bro. You totally convinced us with your acute persuasion skills. Now give us something from the surf so we know which scent we have to follow. Oh, shit. We have almost no time left. Did you know what you suspect was the most similar scent to that brainwashed surf fisherman? A tuna sandwich. It's smelling time, my bros. The wolf pack proceeds to smell the tuna sandwich that they smell each other's butts. Then they eat the tuna sandwich. Then they finally leave. In a matter of minutes, they're back. We found it. The exact same scent. You're welcome, noob. This is just another tuna sandwich. Yes, this is what you get for being a 
Oh, hey, Cory, the test is starting. Can you find my surf? You show Miranda the tuna sandwich. The, what's this? Looks like some sort of sandwich, but I really remember the faces of lizard beings, so I should trust you on this one. Wish us luck. Later, you're under my again. She still doesn't realize you gave her a tuna sandwich. But it turned out the tuna sandwich is proficient at math, and it is the test. Miranda's super grateful. Long live the world's utter nonsense. We mean, true smarts one shot. Crime is the only way you know how. With fake beards. It's working. Now with all the children in heck. Now all the children have fake beards. Crime ghost can't tell their children. He's got no one to possess. Yep, that was totally your plan. You definitely didn't just start slapping beards on kids and hope for the best. Excellent. The day is saved once again. Thanks to the coven and our faithful sidekick Tori. With that, you wanted to know about payment? We're sorry, but the contract clearly states that this is an unpaid internship. Contract does say that. Oh well, at least you gain more creativity for your lateral thinking. Watching your adorable little dark deity totem melt the faces off passerby. Hey, God, you found the totem. You handed over quickly. Whoa, dudes, chill out for a sec. Whatever seems to matter, we're off to have a lovely picnic with our dearest totem friend, little buddy. The totem is Gord, ruler of the dark realms and agent of destruction. We must dispose of the totem before the world suffers. Um, uh, truly, though, what have you ever done? What have you ever done to earn our friendship? This totem has been there for us whenever we needed it. Yeah. When I was in the academy, little buddy made sure a dealer dropped dead in the club with full pockets so I could have as much as I wanted. It was that pedomalicious. Pedomalicious. When a suitor brought me the wrong flowers, little buddy made his eyes and teeth melt on all of his face. Jordan purrs happily, which sounds like the shriek of a thousand cows dying of pain. Literally every time I think you guys can't make worse choices, you somehow make worse choices. Kevin prepares to attack, their sights set on your precious turtle. You better think fast. Solving turtle. Let's hold this. You slide a hand, take turn to disappear. Oh. It's charm. It's smarts! Thinking quickly, use your excellent dexterity to calm the totem. Ooh, ready to go! Wait, since when do you know magic? We didn't realize you were magical. We could have used your sorcery in so many quests. My word, do you ever stop talking? Please leave us be, cousin. We have more important things to discuss. Well, if those of you possess such great powers, we can trust that you will be able to contain the dark deity within the hood. they just so Yay, yeah, niche. Finally, a little respect around here. When have we ever not been trustworthy? Come and peace out, presumably because they have no examples rather than so, so many. Nothing up your sleeve, except the hood. We're moving and head off to your picnic. You mean two boldness and one smart. Short of royal fabulousness, it would rank just below the village pig muffin festival. It must be more fabulous. It is my duty as a princess to make it so, but the sheer barbarity has paralyzed my mind. What to do? That's scripts. Alter the scripts so there's value people might be vulgar, but it'll look okay, so that's creativity. Take the leading role, that's goodness. Fuck. You want to inspire the peasants? Do you know what inspired peasants do? They demand to be paid. No, no. Plays are for the upper class, it must be made accordingly. Surely you've heard the old. Adage, if a peasant has time for play, if he has time for more backbreaking labor, don't beat yourself up. It's hard to figure out what piece of offer it's. He was too smart to own creativity. Let's do this! He's trying to enjoy a meal in peace when space untwists itself to reveal the inner of the my love. This glorious year, I think this squid star I found you. I have been confounded by the most fiendish riddle. Riddle that has vexed me for days, made weeks, the riddle of how to change the ringtone on my new smartphone. This interface is more fortuitous than my palace labyrinth. 
hurry out and back to his phone, change his ringtone to butts, 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 all about those butts, by the Rudy Bros. My hero, what seems difficult to me is true to you. And you even guessed which ringtone I'd say, a true all-time classic from the Sims dimension. There's only one way I can repay you, by bestowing upon you a super of your choice. I can do that, I'm the prince of another division. I do all kinds of crazy things you don't know about. All kinds of crazy things besides you, says phone number. He really only gives you two super hot options. Look, and ask them to play. And ask them to play. Oh, yes, the choice of true gentle monster. Learn his magical way. Prince and use your ass with boundless or method. By day, your ass amazes your classmates and creepy teachers. By night, it does your homework for you. All that work makes sure it blends super tight pain for John. I didn't think that would be John. Thought that would be fun? Let's do this! Class, Mr. Slenderman hands back your text from me. They'll go over at Miranda. Whoa, you haven't seen her this mad since she found out my little pony was in the uh, Disgraceful! Unbelievable. An F on my test? But I'm the best at everything I do. Father always says so. Ah, uh, I know what must be the matter. Mr. Slenderman is simply defective. He must be replaced. Let me just go online and purchase a new teacher. Or is it hire? Do you hire teachers? This one looks good. Mr. Roboto, the robotic teacher who does exactly as you ask? What's this? It seems this backward school district requires some sort of reason to fire and replace a teacher. Apparently, impudence. Impudence? Hmm, is it sufficient? Quick, help me come up with a reason Mr. Slenderman should be fired. Children, I can show you at least a dozen images of him stalking children. Let's photo edit him. Okay, so that's creativity. Yeah, yes, let's. Skillfully photo edit Mr. Slenderman's non face into a picture of a bunch of clan members. It turns out to be super easy as Mr. Slenderman is incredibly right. In a prepared statement following the release of the photograph, Principal Giant Spider says, While Spooky High School is willing to tolerate child murder, mad science, and cannibalism among its teachers, racism is a bridge too far. And also, he gave me an F on a test. Everyone ignores Miranda, but she doesn't care. She hires that robot teacher she wanted, and he gives everyone free ice cream and back rubs. And Miranda's here, being too fun and more creative. They actually seem to be enjoying gym for a change. Well, he must be terribly rough. You ever see Youth is a gift. Well, now, I'm all for inspiring athleticism in the hearts of the youth, but allowing you to make up your own sport seems a bit unorthodox, don't you think? Oh, but ordinary sports are er, ever so dull and unrefined. I'm sure we two could be could do much better. I've already got an idea, actually. I had an idea for a sport since before there were even sports. I call it art. No teams, no rules, just pure creative expression. I'll be the quarterback, of course. Art, brilliant. We will play it with watercolors and sequins, and there shall be a sports bard and a goalie for uh, for it. And it's so good to see you kids getting enthusiastic about wholesome physical exercise, but I gotta say, art doesn't really sound like a sport, but it doesn't have the word ball anywhere in it. It's easily solved. We'll call it ball, art ball. Oh, well, yes, obviously that's much better. But let me ask you this. How do you score points in Art Ball, huh? Liam and Miranda both look at each other. Totally stuck. Their dream hangs in the past. Time to step in. Obviously, Sports Bard assigns inspiration it kicks to metaphysical linebacker who scores 11 points to each. Oh, okay, that's smart. Starting to see the points are inside of Zelda. That's charm. My god, you're right. I've become so obsessed with the points out there that I've forgotten about the points in here. You kids have taught me a valuable lesson today. From now on, points are hereby banned from all sporting events, at least until I forget I said this. Does that mean we can make art ball a varsity sport? Of course, the only real sport after all is togetherness. Even Miranda throw themselves into recruiting a team. Coach bans points the way your team was doing this year. Hardly anyone notices these words. You're being too charming when you this. I'm so charming. Let's do this! Let's do this! Enjoy a quiet moment or something. No, we're not open for the fabric space. Greetings, my love. Greetings, hero. I have a task for which no hands are fit by yours. A portal is sealed against me, which I have not strength enough to open. Please help me to break the seal. On this jar of kosher dill pickles. Seriously? You take the jar from him, pop off the lid, and hand it back to him. Maybe he'll leave you now. Oh, bless you, hero. Your noble deeds deserve a noble title. Yes, I will give you one free noble title, redeemable now. Maybe they'll leave you alone if you set title. Anyway, having one room to speak. Let me check this one to see your options. Foreign minister in charge of extremely handsomeness, that's charm. Excellent choice, and your timing couldn't be better. Our last unscrupulous treasurer just absconded 
with half our funds. Let me just give you my account numbers, the keys to my money map, uh, money hit, and the combinations are my saves. Hey, where did you go? No time to talk. Too busy absconding with funds. You take all, all you can carry. Poor money. Let's do this! Do you skip class and understand what happened? Yeah. Turn to find Miranda staring at the walls inside of my Clearly, this is not your mind. Disgusting! Oh, these bathrooms are so vulgar. If only there were more like the bathrooms back home in Atlantis. Bathrooms so vast and luxury luxurious. Many have entered and never been seen again. I've raised this issue with Principal Giant Spider, but he insists that the school does not have the budget for such things. He told me to pick one improvement, just one, for the school to implement. What improvement of all the myriad possibilities should I select? Oh, I am paralyzed by the options. Help me. Will your entire bathroom is seafood? Seawater? Hopefully the robot will be right? Ah. Most elementary improvement of all is emerging. Within hours, a team of contractors arrived to break up the entrance to the bathroom, drill a hole in the roof, and dump in a bunch of salt water. But it's not long before you find Miranda looking even more distraught than before. The toilets. The toilets are not built for underwater use. Geysers of filth from floor to ceiling. I'm not sure how much longer it will even. Just then, a huge sploosh echoes from the halls of Spooky High. As the newly flooded bathrooms collapse in a shower of salt water and monster shit. The mixture causes a gnarled, slippery tree to grow where the bathrooms were. There's eyes and teeth, and it hates just the It used to charm and creativity. Let's do this! Let's do this. You notice Damien and Miranda squatting on the grass, pumping some plastic. You rush over, hoping for a dead possum, but instead you find them gathered around an entire tiny metropolis. Fucking Check metal. this shit out. It's our kingdom. I call it Smalltopia. Any voice from the city shouts up at you. It's called West Pimberley, and we're not a monarchy. I was gonna burn it all with a magnifying glass, but I'm happy Miranda stopped me. It's good to be king. A tiny voice from the city says, We vote for our leaders in a biannual election. We are facing a quandary. How to boost our kingdom's struggling economy. Yet, the whole place has been facing an economic recession ever since the pigeon stole the hospital to build its nest. Funny boy says, that red guy stole the hospital and lied about it. I'm used to managing kingdoms that are significantly larger and much more underwater. I'm afraid I'm at a loss. Yeah. Hey, how about you being our royal advisor? The pay is shit, but you can take whatever buildings you want. Hey, says the tiny voice. What a new hop. That's creativity. No, I always was war. That's... Old man. Okay, hell yeah, I fucking love crafts. Finally, an opportunity to give back to our beloved kingdom. Maybe and Miranda excitedly glue a bunch of popsicle sticks together and draw a big red cross on them with Sharpie. They fall it down right where the old hospital used to be. Hardly crushing it anymore. I think we make pretty good civic planners, don't you, Miranda? Oh yes, most certainly, Damien. Screams tripped up to you from the city. One voice cries is out. Take them to the hospital. Another replies, it's just an empty box of wood and glue. It doesn't even have beds. What sort of cool joke is this? There's always something to laugh about in Sultopia, isn't there? You mean too fun and one creativity. Let's do this! Let's do this. Hi, my beloved student. Hey there, bud. What you drinking? What? Milk? That's it? That's hardly really a drink at all. Everybody knows the drink is the backbone of a balanced lunch. And what would we be without backbone? I don't know. My doctor yells at me whenever I try to find out. Don't know about me. Let's get you juiced. You can have a sport sauce or muscle juice. Which would you like? Whiskey? Uh, I don't remember offering you any whiskey. But you chose it, so I must have offered it to you. Otherwise, why would you have chosen youth it? Is a gift. Oh well. Guess I've just gotta go out and buy you a case of whiskey. Coach marches off to illegally purchase a whole bunch of alcohol on your behalf. Then all of your classmates realize that you can get Coach to buy them booze just by asking you. Just by asking. You become the coolest kid in school. You gain four fun. I thought that would be boldness. Let's do this! long moment, you, Paul, and Miranda can do nothing but stare at the newly freed dirt. Dude, this is awesome! I can't believe our sweet little quiet deity is finally out here in the universe with us. Me either, so like, now what? Yeah, I guess little buddy isn't so little anymore. Dark deity smiles the grin of the eternally damned. The paint begins to melt off the walls of the hallway. Windows shatter, sending shards of glass flying dangerously through the air. 
Ground rumbles and shakes with the force of a magnitude 12 earthquake, which is actually farther than the Richter scale goes. Yikes. Who knew that unleashing a dark deity from a totem would have consequences? This could definitely spiral out of control. Better do something fast. Fight? No. Yeah, charm. You immediately drop to a knee and pull out a beautiful bouquet of blood-soaked daisies. Oh my god, what? Wee. You make your pitch to the dark deity, citing all the wonderful times you've had together, annoying the coven, making sacrifices, nothing facing, how much is all meant to you? Dark deity blushes and cracks creep across the glass of the windows. That's, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me in several millennia of existence. Do you really, really feel that way about me? The dark deity flutters its eyelashes and birds drop dead from the sky. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! We were sure the Gord, ruler of the dark realm, that yes, your feelings are on the level. This is amazing. It's it's been a while since anyone's I I need to protect my fragile heart. Aw. Let me let me think about it, okay? Totally okay. Wait, are you are you going to come lost from with your dark deity? Could be. You might have gained a prom date, but you definitely gained two boldness and one charm. I did it. Myself. Light it up! Ask another. Let's do this! Yes, no way to problem, because your heart now belongs to the ancient dark deity. Last time Scory told you was thinking about your proposal. You decided to go to prom and wait for it to appear. You believe from the bottom of your heart that your feelings are mutual after everything you've lived through together. And you're right! You have the cutest and nicest date together, you even hold hands, or whatever Scory has for hands anyway. In a moment of vulnerability, Scory, ruler of the dark realm, shares its deepest thoughts with you. You know, I've been told for a millennia that I was meant to be a dark deity whose only purpose is bringing this reality to its undoing. But I've realized, I don't need to be who I've been told to be. I've had more fun these days with you than in many millennia plotting this realm's demise. I think being a dark deity is not in my true nature. No, I might really be a high school girl. Dark deity shapeshifts into a purple tentacle girl. Take my to Zagord, ruler of the dark realms. From now on, you can call me Zoe. Did it! I got a secret ending! Yeah! Alright. And with that, we're going to end the stream. I need to get ready for my date. Alright, so, you can go to our Twitter, and that's where I post the stream schedule every Sunday. Um, I believe the next stream is Saturday. It might be earlier, but... I have an infusion tomorrow, so I do not know how I feel. I will feel for the rest of the week. Um, this is fun. Uh, I don't know when I'll play it next, though, because uh, my throat does really hurt. But yeah, then you can also go to YouTube and you can watch our VODs. There are more Monster Prom videos there, because I played this a while back. Uh, you can go to our website, which has more about our company and about each team member. Uh, we have a product on Pathfinder Infinite called Heroic Crafting. There's variant crafting rules for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Uh, and then we also have a TikTok in which I post uh, Twitch clips and original content. Okay, goodbye!